This is the Chepok Palace in 2017. And this is what it looked like in its heyday. In modern colloquial parlance, the residents of Chennai use the name Chepok only to refer to the Chepok Stadium, situated a few hundred meters from this forgotten monument. One can imagine the palace, in all its bygone beauty, would have complemented the origins of the name Chepok, possibly derived from the Urdu word Chebag, meaning six gardens. As far as history goes, this palace was constructed by Nawab Muhammad Ali Khan Walaja, the Nawab of Arkat at the time in 1764. He had settled for this palace as an alternative given he couldn't build his palace in Fort St. George's ramparts following space constraints. What was once the seat of the Nawab of Arkat from 1768 to 1855? This, the Chepok Palace, lies in ruins now, right behind the Public Works Department of the government. These red sandstone walls are now adorned by dust and mortar and a lot of filth abound, forgotten in history and forgotten in time. Then in 1855, as part of the doctrine of lapse, the palace was auctioned off to pay off the Nawab's debts to the Britishers and was later purchased by the Madras government. A large portion of the palace and its grounds have now been rechristened as the Public Works Department Estate with a number of government institutions present therein. As you can see, we are at the southern end of the dome where we began our journey of the Chepok Palace. Once inside the complex of the palace, as well as the public works department of the government of Tamil Nadu, one doesn't really appreciate the fact that the palace is set across a vast area of 117 acres and with a number of small shops and markets dotting the periphery of the palace, its value does seem to be lost with time. The palace's northern block is Kalsa Mahal, while the southern block is called Humayun Mahal. The palace is a famous example of Indo-Saracenic style of architecture, meaning Indo-Gothic or Mughal Gothic, inspired by the British. That coupled with the wear and tear over the years, leaves the palace with an astutely rustic look. The style of architecture is also seen at the Madras High Court, Victoria Public Hall and Chennai Central. But the Chepok Mahal is considered the first Indo-Saracenic building ever built, a remarkable distinction to its forgotten name. The building is good, the building is worn out. Either one the end the development or end the government on the alum pandra the abrio poy alum by Malapar and side la pathing and ala, Pungal Kalamitrio. Development of Panirang, Unavalavar, Malapurkin Paranga. I think in the Varda Puil on the Yellame Marangarangala, only the natural atmosphere poichi, Unumangilla. If the name of develop Pandrangala, end up Pandranga, the Lide on the central government to undertake Puni, the complete Avanga on the Samantama, Ada, the Panada. This is a ruined city. This is a heritage palace. 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 This is a palace. That saw large parts gutted in two fires in the last four years. Negligence is slowly bringing this monument of art down to the ground, with some portions surviving by way of government function. With camera person Chittatosh Khandekar, this is Harsha for Good Morning Chennai.